The time has come, Yohara. At long last, your father's many illnesses have taken him. I, I do not know what to say. I do not know what to feel. My father and I were close for all of our years, but I just, I just, I do not know. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, and welcome back, connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel and newcomers alike. We are here once again with Sultan Abid al-Rahman III, the disgraceful of Al-Andalus. We are almost 70 years old, which is not something we would have has originally suspected, particularly considering the fact we have both infirm and tragic Hashashian, but a lot of that comes from our slight dip well, at this point, becoming significant dip into whole of body. And the fact we have some, some nice boosts from our travels and from being herbalist that give us the ability to resist our various ailments and allow us to continue in poor health, but continue nonetheless. So we have taken the Delta, and those vassals of the Delta are now in our control. It's pretty good for us. The war in Egypt continues. What's bad for us is that our son and heir was badly wounded, got a horrid mistreatment, and lost his leg, as due to the fact that he was serving as an acclaimed knight in what was supposed to be an honorific position. But we did not remove him as a knight before the battle. He is now our rival, probably because he feels... Betrayed by the fact that we didn't remove him from the war and it almost resulted in him dying. As, again, the only reason we put him in charge of the order is because our order is a teaching order. And we... We wanted an heir. Just in case the worst happened. And the worst happened. Our, our man didn't die of illness or accident. Our son was gravely injured serving as a knight that he shouldn't have been serving as because he wasn't even that good. There are a lot of mistakes that were made, a lot of things that we just didn't think about. For example, we sold that bird or spear when giving it to our son would have improved his success as a knight. And uh, we're, we're kind of losing our grip on things. The Abbasid Empire is an enormous, enormous foe to take on. We ourselves are large, but much of our territory, like theirs, is wasteland. And our heartland here is finally getting to the point where it's nearly done. There's not that many left. I think the last time we looked at the struggle here, we saw that we only really need... This is what we want to look at. Four more. Four more. But we're getting to the point where the culture switches are taking forever. They're very long. Those last three culture switches are going to be 30 years. There is good news, though. This young man, because his capital, because I changed his capital, uh, he must have, at some point in time in the background, decided to adopt Isabillion, which makes it much more likely that these final converts change back. So things are pretty stable in here with this conversion. We should be able to smoothly get to the end. There's only one more unconverted county that doesn't have... Well, some of our converted counties have uh, non-Isabillion leaders, but that's there's not much we can really do about that. Our culture is becoming dominant. More or less, we are pushing out the Andalusians across the entire area. Over here, we have a lot of coastal Isabellian leaders, not even inside of our kingdom. Let's unpause. There's no reason to stay paused. We will drop back down to three, though. We're in bad shape. I would expect at any time for us to just end up being dead because there's not much more oh didn't i just give this guy somebody did did, did the guy i put him nope he's right there kind of weird right we've adopted the new habit of not taking money from our own family because we want this to push back up to 200 now to be fair a lot of ground has been made up on that 10 more points have been made up since we made that decision this is a very wealthy domain, and its inter its uh, integration has definitely increased our wealth. Our military is still as strong as we can realistically make it at this time. Our son is currently acting as our second tax collector. 
he, in spite of him being a rival, a rival, he's doing an excellent job. I believe this is a good indication that he's putting the the fate of al Andalus ahead of his own personal feelings. We can both benefit if we pool our knowledge together. 25% chance to increase his diplomacy. Let's do this. I think this is a good choice. Good. Uh, this whole region up here is just chock filled with potentially treacherous former Christian vassals who we've converted. We also have a lot of that problem up here as well. Some of these guys are definitely secretly Christian. And we died. That is the end of us. Sultan Abid al Rahman of Al Andalus has passed on to eternity at 69 years of age. He died of old age. Known to be a respected scholar, he spent most of his days studying in his library, rarely leaving the castle. That's not really true. Sultan Yohana ascends to the throne, beautiful beyond words. His appearance will have foreign dignitaries groveling at his feet. He is beautiful beyond words in spite of having lost his leg. He is he is a gorgeous man with an excellently attractive son who is just all over the place. His son has gotten the diplomacy torture perk. Now, an interesting thing that we haven't talked about was I had always intended to move our court back to, where is it? under this we were going to always move this back right so i think we're going to do it now because doing this will mean his son will have a chance to gain uh gain the learning equivalent of this perk which i think would be very good wait can we not yet no we can there we go so that's kind of why we're doing this we're trying to do get his son to have both perks which would be really excellent we hold one less territory than our father was capable of holding but we also do not have our lifestyle chosen yet. That's super interesting. Oh, <laughs> you were working on Overseer in spite of the fact that you are not. That's really interesting. I don't see, I actually don't see that very often where you have a, um, where you have an AI pick the wrong, was he put in a position at some point? Maybe his wife before she lost her territory, put him in his marshal, and that encouraged him to do this. This is unusual. <laughs> Almost to the degree where I think it might be a bug. Unusual. This, he's definitely stewardship education, and has been the whole time. Well, I mean, I would love for him to get Overseer, but it's not more important than him working on maybe Architect. Is that enough? That gives him the last spot he needs, which is good. We can... Pardon our vassal here. This is the guy who tried to murder us, actually. Isn't this literally the guy who tried to murder us personally? I just want to make sure. Because it was, in fact, this. Yeah, it was him. I wonder why we can... I. Well, I mean... Yeah. I mean, our father did kind of piss us off by by doing some decisions that we strongly disagree with right there near the end. So uh, maybe this is a perfect time to to fix this out, to fix this up, to make this better for ourselves, because uh, I don't like it. And I think I'm going to try to change it. We are so stressed out, too. Do we have any de-stressors? We have no de-stressors. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We're irritable, which means we can get mad at somebody. We probably sh whoa, we're way into there. Uh, that's getting mad at somebody is simply not going to be enough, but we will still do it. The look at his face. That's not a great thing to have done, but we needed to. Let's also do every single automatic alliance before we unpause so that each alliance acceptance isn't affected by the other people we're getting alliances with. We were working on this. I think the fine successor will roll over. Uh, we got this guy and he's not good. Basic stuff finished. Now, Chancellor. Check. Steward. Check. Marshal. Check. 
And that leaves us with you. Oh, we lost our wound. Uh, like, right after we take over. That should stabilize us, hopefully, as fine. Hopefully the aggravated wound will go away eventually. It's not that long. <laughs> it's not that long. Now have an alliance with him. Now, how do I feel about executing? Because my father wouldn't execute him for trying to murder me. This is problematic to us. Remain so now, even. But we... will lose House Umayyad unity. But, I mean, our father worked hard to get that back up. And it'll still be above 75 if we do this. Do we do this? I mean, let's be fair. This man absolutely did try to have us murdered. Father died of old age. Yeah. It's not going to list it as a thing he did, but that that's why we imprisoned him and let him go. So this is definitely the guy. So we're just going to undo our father's mistake of letting the man who tried to murder us go for family to 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 heal family wounds. We we don't buy that argument at all. Uh it is a little bit more personal of course to us because we were the ones who almost got murdered and our father was the one who didn't almost got murdered. So that's a thing. We have a ton of money. We were the tax collector here. We only have good tax collector to replace myself with. These guys are all the same, so I'd rather pick a younger man. So we'll pick him. Someone who can stay and grow in the job for a while. We have tons of money. How soon did he level change? Oh, we literally dropped to friendly. How did that happen? It's, it can't have been because of that, right? Could it have been? So we are going to send bailiffs. And we're going to encourage improve economy. Because those are just good. How far down are we? We are one more than ten down. If I steer house unity back towards harmonious, it won't quite put us into the next category. But there are things we can do about that. Hey, okay. you are not a family member. You are not a family member. You are not a family member. You are a family member. You are not a family member. So our strongest vassals are actually mostly not family members, which is interesting. We got this guy, though. I'm going to extol his virtuousness. That'll get us back into Harmonious. Which is good. That should stabilize things. Everything remains fully developed here, but we were going to start building out these last... Um, Holdings. So here we can construct a new holding. It can be a temple or a city. We would prefer for it to be a city because of our city maven thing. So we'll build a city. And then we should probably be able to build something here too, but it'll have to be a temple, I'm sure. Yep. That's fine. This is all built out. We have an unbuilt location. In fact, two unbuilt locations here and one here. I'll build the city here. If I can afford it, which I can, that's good. So we have started major construction in our own held territory. Up here in the small amount of territory we hold in the former Christian lands, nothing has really changed. We're not going to focus on building that place out. And finally, over here on the island, also nothing has changed. That is good. So hopefully, hopefully our son... Hopefully our son will have an opportunity to gain the, um, hopefully we're around long enough that he becomes a valued scholarly career as well, which I think would really help him. Yelling at people didn't help as much as we would hope. We can hold court, which we probably should do. We can also sell trivial titles. That has to be from either the dynasty or from the stage of, gotta be from this. I mean, we're gonna do it. We have no problem with selling trivial titles. It was something our father traditionally did a whole lot too. And then we'll use that money to build a city here. There we go. Okay, so that was a major, major expansion of our own personal 
assets sell titles so this guy our guest wants to become umayad i think well let's look at our traits here we're just we're not doing it we're deceitful though <laughs> that's that i mean man and we are also super ambitious so we're ambitious deceitful and just this this does not feel like one of those exceptions that we would make to be fair does not feel like one of the exceptions we would make so we'll we'll have to let that pass i better i bet our father would have done that stoking the fire there have been clashes between ashari and catholic population in the sheikdom of barcelona no i shall try to ease the tensions how good is my wife at diplomacy can she help me with this Support politics. If I try to ease the tension with her helping, it's 80% chance. We'll try to ease the tension. We mediated successfully and eased the tension. Good. Thank you so much, my wife. Your advice really helped on this matter. We got to hit our next legacy. We got dedicated contributors. Or we've got PD when house member, when, when contributing to house members war. Ha call house members to war to all house members. Interesting. I think we're going to take this. I think so. Now let's look at our items to make sure we're carrying what's the best stuff. We should probably drop something for the Maritime Trading Handbook. We are still a young man, so we can probably afford to do without this for a while. Let's unequip this and put that book on. Maybe when we get a little older, we'll worry about it. We have a second antelope horn. Our other one is better. Keep our milk tooth. Can this be made a court artifact? No. Too bad, because that would have been cool. Could this be made a court artifact? No. Too bad also would have been cool. Okay. That all seems fine. We wouldn't put this up even if we could make it a court artifact. Things are feeling pretty stable for the start of our reign, although this is a big problem. Maybe we should consider going on a... Hmm. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Amatu, a diplomat sent by my ally Wali Ixi of Taza. By the immense quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. My apologies for the mess. I was... Defenstrated by a dwarf trying to rob me in an inn on my journey to Isabilia. However, as the rapscallion cushioned my fall, the diplomatic visit can continue. It will be days until my blood loss is fatal. Ah, guards forced this man to see a physician. <laughs> can you hold on till next week? That's not good. Uh, force this guard to see a man to see a physician. So, a couple of things we need to really get a little thought into here, okay? One... Are we going to continue the war right away? Is that our goal? We have still a pretty strong army. Our gains in Egypt were pretty, pretty massive so far, but they have not deeply hurt the Caliph's army. I mean, his army is definitely weaker. Will there be a better time? Sometimes there are moments when you have to think to yourself, will there be a better time, right? We got this guy who is his ally. We have Magareb, who is still our ally. Interesting. I mean, the last time we went to Egypt, it was extremely, <laughs> extremely traumatic for us. We don't have the, we don't have the, um, so we're going to probably miss that opportunity. In fact, because we don't have the piety, it, it implies that this money we have right now should probably go to doing a Hajj. The question is, do we do it like our father, or do we take it seriously? It's very expensive. It's gotten very expensive. She's a great... My, my, my daughter is a great caravan master. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're going to do this as soon as we can, but we can't do it immediately. It's just too expensive. We're going to have to wait. Competent Cadiz. I cannot work like this, my tax collector, Umaya exclaims, frustrated and dejected. Every Sharia court of the Sultanate is 
is a wretched hive of incompetence hampering all my efforts. Good tax farming needs competent Cadiz to keep the local magnates in check to make sure to make your rule just in the eyes of God and your claim to the bulk of the tax is righteous. You must give me funds to employ more and better people for the courts and the authority to fire the corrupt old Cadiz. Uh, I don't have that much money just lying around, my friend. You are causing me some unnecessary, very bad stress. Now, maybe we should consider some kind of, like, local activity. Did we ever... Did this ever go through? Still eight years. So, we could do a falconry hunt. We could do it here. It's still too expensive making it as small as we possibly can. Let's look at this again. Maybe we can do a regular hunt? Because regular hunts are less expensive. Hunt. Plan hunt. Regular hunt. Lower this. Lower the party size. Higher captains. We got a lot of places we probably want to travel to. Uh, we could do a classic customized route down here. And then into the water. And then around the edge here. That gets us there without much difficulty. From here, when we leave, we could go to here. To here. Then we can come down to Granada. That's not good. We need to go this way to Granada. And then from Granada, we can go to Rutuba. Apply. This seems good. Let's do it. Let's take this hunt. Hopefully a nice hunt will get us uh, some resolution on our extreme stress situation oh, one of our african relatives has adopted a birder culture not bad no no problem with that at all we're now traveler let's investigate a good find nice that basically pays for the hunt good job ah we're basically following in our father's tradition. I think now that he's dead and uh, we undid the main wrong he did to us, which wasn't sending us to the war. It was letting the... Uh, he thought it was us sending to the war and us losing our leg, but actually it wasn't. That did bother us and it did push us over, but the real thing that bothered us was that he, uh, he basically just let our murderer go. Uh, the guy who attempted to murder us go. That... <laughs> that's not cool. But now that that guy is dead and his head has been separated from his body, we, uh, we're pretty cool with the situation and we're remembering our father in his ways more, more, uh, more kindly, I think. Akin is the best candidate. If I was to actually look at the job list here for Master of the Hunt, Akin is good of the men who's with me. How good is the other guy, though? The other guy is Yafar. But I should be favoring family members, and a good family member might be the right decision. I think that's what we do. I think we pick... I think we do the, 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 a little bit of old nepotism here is, is where we're going to go. We're going to go right down... Immediately, we're going to go by, right right to the right to the path of nepotism. Right straight to the nepotism front we went. Hand that out right to a relative right away. No questions asked. No doubts at all. Hopefully, we will be able to do that hodge soon. We can negotiate an alliance with you, so we will. I don't even know where you are. You are far away. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> There's so many kingdom titles that we can create. It's wild. We only hold the two. It's the only ones we want to. Hispania is going to happen soon. It's going to happen soon, I promise. So soon. I don't know if it'll happen in his lifetime, though. Five months. Let's speed up a little bit. Modest gemstone needs to be repaired. Do we need to repair this? I don't know that we do, actually. 
I don't think we'll ever use it again. It had sentimental value to our father, but not really to us. So we'll just... We'll just break it before it breaks on its own. In other words, we'll sell it to somebody who's willing to take care of it. Once we get this stress off and make some money, that's when we'll probably start considering uh, another war. Although I don't know how much he wants to go back to Egypt, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know that he wants to go back to Egypt much at all right now, to be fair at all. At all fair. Fair at all. I don't know. I don't know. I'd want to go back to the place where I lost my leg. Because we would be fighting in a different part of Egypt, which is true. Heart. It's dangerous. Something with Vim. Middling, middling. Success chance decreases. It will corner a tricksy hair. Let's do the heart. We're doing it. We're going all out. The noise of the others has faded as my vassal Sheik Rosendo and I stuck up on the heart. We are almost within striking distance when Rosendo whispers, Now that we're finally here alone, there is something I have to tell you about Emir Sifula. Interesting. Ah, uh, secrets aren't more important to me than hunting right now. A scheme at court. Someone is trying to kill my fairy Yasin. Yasin? We amble in a group. As we amble in a group, I hear a mere. I hear Emir Ahmed behind me hissing from atop his hunting steed. Look at that full scullion. He points at my vassal, Emir Musafaradin, who seems to be having a hard time bearing the insults. There's no way for an Emir to act. Yes. Stop it. Act appropriately. We're grown men here. After it, we ride. Oh, wow. <laughs> he legitimately tried to murder me on my own hunt. Uh, <laughs> that barely went well. I draw my hunting knife, crying for help as Ahmed and Rosendo descend upon me, grimacing with frightful intent. The next moment are a blur. When I come to my senses, my heart is pounding. My attackers are writhing on the ground, their daggers safely out of reach. I hold my dagger to daze Ahmed's throat. Rosendo is quite unhurt and begs me for clemency with his wide eyes. I am not sparing their life, to be clear. Uh, but I'm just. So they get chops in prison as opposed to chops in the field of the hunt. Thank you for the gift, sir. Uh, that... <laughs> <laughs> I hope your son is ready to rule. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I can't execute him for attempting to murder me? Why the hell not? <laughs> this game has some major oversights in it. Like, this guy tried to murder me. Why can I not execute them for trying to murder me? Fine. <sighs> Are either of these... No, neither of these are, so they can just get moved to the dungeon and live the rest of their lives out in the dungeon if I can't murder them. I mean, I, I guess, I guess it makes sense. Maybe we just don't consider this to be a suitable, uh, like, an attempt at murder might not be a reason to execute them, I suppose. I don't know. I don't really feel that way myself. But we will leave them in the dungeon for literally ever. That's their- that's- that's where they live now. No house arrest, dungeons for you. Is this? Request a divorce? So this old man has no son. He's gonna lose his territory to his liege, who is a member of the family, which I find to be a perfectly appropriate outcome. He's only 50 years old. It's just because he has a big gray beard that he seems older than that. He wants a new wife because she isn't giving him children, but I'm not doing it. I'm not- I'm not doing it. I <sighs> can't believe he he ruined my hunt <laughs> by trying to murder me, which is a an, an enormous blow to my stress. Tell me the future, oh wise one. Please be a good future. No. Come and experience the future with me. Our current guy is not bad, actually. 
Maybe I should try to befriend this guy. Because that will give him a boost to getting his important work done in those conversions, in those uh, culture conversions. I think we work on this, Tulia Tula. No. This, he's not in prison by accident. He tried to murder me. He literally tried to murder me. I literally have a room full of witnesses that he tried to murder me. It's it's not a thing. He can die, literally die in prison. He has a life sentence. Okay, that's it. If he escapes, he'll be a criminal and I'll hunt him down. So let's see. Our nephew, who we were training, has become a town maven and we have made him a mastermind philosopher. Just to be clear, this is the boy who rules in Egypt. But he has been removed. In other words, while we were trying to protect him... Wait, wait, wait. This is not the kid that I was educating. This is not my brother's son. I mean, it might be one of my brother's other sons. It is. I should say one of my other brother's sons, but... What? <laughs> what happened? How am I taking care of this kid and not the one that I... I... I was doing before, the one from Egypt? That's so weird. Did I assign... I can't have assigned him the wrong kid. Did he just, did I just give up the job? Is that what happened? Or did I just decide to not do it? Because there's literally no way I assigned him the right kid. I literally did it from... I think his mother forced him to be trained under him. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I didn't care about it as much as my father did anyway. I was more just trying to be of service to him, so... I am going to give this to my nephew, though. I think that is a, still a good idea. Let's see. Am I, though? Because he's not going to be the right dynasty. Would I... Uh, do I care about that? <laughs> That's the kind of thing we got to figure out, right? Looking at my sister, her son. Yeah, let's do it. Now we want to probably... Negotiate an alliance with him... What title is he supposed to be part of? It's literally its own thing. The emirate title here is in prison and will be for the rest of his life if I can have anything to do with it, which I intend to have everything to do with it. We're still building all these towns and cities down here. Let's look at what we're looking working at culturally. Oh, right. We have to spend this money on some obvious things, so we're not going to worry about it. So we're working on Mots so that we can start upgrading the castle buildings. Then Banis is the last one here, which we'll probably let happen on its own. Or were we working on something over here? Are we working on Royal Prerogative? There'd be no reason for us to work on Royal Prerogative. But it looks like we might have dropped to Royal Prerogative and not noticed. If we're going to work on something at this level... Right? This is going to be four years. This is going to be 118 years. If we're going to work on somebody up here, I would rather work on something that gives us more men-at-arms if there's anything available. Burrs. Army movement speed. Better buildings. Armored horsemen and lancers. Household soldiers. This. I'd rather be working on this if we're going to be working on anything early medieval, because that's going to be a huge difference in how we can, how we handle things, right? We shall receive him, and we shall accept his, uh, his vows without question. He's done nothing to earn our ire, so we will justly fulfill our obligations to him. We do have enough money that we can build something up here in Barcelona. Uh, I think we're going to build a... We could build a castle and hold it ourselves, or we can build another city. I think we're going to build a castle first, and then a city to end with. No longer have a wet nurse. But I don't know if we even have any children, or will have any more children. Let me see. Wet nurse. You are an excellent candidate for wet nurse, so go ahead and do it. As for spouses, we have no secondary spouses. We know have, we have no women in our life that we would marry immediately. Our wife is probably not going to give us any more children. Our family is quite small. We are so stressed. But we are now going to try to do the... Uh, we, we needed to do that pilgrimage. 
The Hajj is just too important. It's too important a thing for us to do. We're just going to have to abort this castle construction. It was a mistake to build it before we had made the decision to do the Hajj. We knew we needed to do the Hajj. We just, we just aren't thinking straight. Everything has happened so fast. So let's, let's do our Hajj. That is not how we do these things anymore. That is how we used to, which is why I click on it every time. Not a university visit. <laughs> You're not spending our Hajj money on a university visit. Okay. Hajj, confirm. We are a little bit more faithful than our father, so we're not going to rush it. We're not going to rush it. We're going to do it for reflection because we are hoping to lose some stress. Again, we're not rushing it. We can bring some extra people for the extra piety, but I don't think we're going to. Let's customize our route. So we want to land here in Alexandria. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we want to land here in Alexandria. We want to come down here through Giza. Get the water and then coming out of Mecca. We want to go up here to Al Medina. And then we're going to avoid the dangerous mountains here. But still, we're going to come up to Petra, Jerusalem. Yep, that's it. That's how we're going to do it. So we're going to go and do our Hajj. Same journey taken by our father and our grandfather, nearly exact in every way, the same. I have waited for this my entire life. Hopefully, this journey will help us get rid of some of our stress. Hopefully, this will stress us down some. Reflection Starry Skies. What I truly want is to enjoy the experience of other cultures. I think so. I mean, we we do want and take the Hajj seriously, but we also want to uh, have a good a good journey. My daughter-in-law, so my son's wife, has had a first child. He is a boy. She wants to name him after me, Johanna. He did okay. He's an okay child. I think I would rather name him after Hisham, my grandfather. My grandfather. The boy's great-grandfather. No more court tutor. Do we have a good replacement? Uh, this guy's excellent, but this young kid here, our half-brother and friend, is good. And he's a family member. So we shall appoint him. I've heard it said that Maghreb fishermen are famed the world over for their ability to strip the ocean of its most bountiful and delicious plunder. Uh, I think we're going to just rest. <laughs> we don't need to learn to fish. We'll just rest. I personally just... This journey is partially for religious purposes, but uh, partially it is for just finding ourself and getting rid of our stress and trying to understand our relationship with our father. For much of our life, we felt very close to him, but at the end... We were just furious at him for not taking the attempt on our life seriously and then putting us in danger by sending us to a war we weren't equipped to fight in. It's actually a very difficult journey for us. It's okay that that will slow us down, but you know, I think we're going to put this at an end now. Our first day with Johanna has been really quite constructive. And next time we will do his Hajj and see whether or not it's time to, uh, to war with the Caliph. Maybe we wait till the new Caliph rises. Maybe. All right, then. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.